What up folks, I am Ultrazilla and today I have a review of the Bandai Super Sentai Zenkaiger Zenkaiser Sentai Heroes Vinyl figure. <laughs> I totally lost my train thought there. I think it's called Sentai Heroes. Um, it's something like that. It's like, you know, the Ultra Heroes and the Kamen Rider one. It's a vinyl figure. Um, these guys are pretty tall though. Um, you know, I I think the Kamen Rider ones are like this as well. I have a couple of older ones that are like somewhere in uh, my son's toy boxes. There's a Kamen Rider, at least one Kamen Rider. There might be a couple. Um, as well as uh, at least one Sentai one. Um, yeah, it, you know. Uh, things get acquired over the years, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but this particular one I got because, you know what, I'm really loving Zen Kaiger right now. It is the current Super Sentai series. And um, while this isn't the first thing I've gotten uh, from the series, so far if you've seen my Instagram, you've seen me, you know, show off the change figures and Zen Kaio, all of which I will be reviewing shortly. But this is an easy review. So let's get to it. Taking a look at Zen Kaiser's card here. Looks pretty good. It's got the 45th anniversary logo here, which is nice. Or 45 being his number. Um, I think that's what that is. But it is the 45th Super Sentai series. Um, there you go. There's all the logo stuff. Nothing but legalese going on in the back. And that's the card. Which I'm not gonna take out on this guy, I think. I think we're gonna leave it in, cause yeah. Articulation on this guy, he's got shoulder swivels. And that is it. The head doesn't move, the legs don't move, nothing else moves. So I said I was gonna keep this, but that's mostly because there's nothing going on in the back anyway. It's just white. Um, you know, you see some sculpt work, but you know, it is what it is. In full, this guy looks pretty good proportionally, I gotta say. Maybe the arms might be a little bit small or something, but I don't know. I think it's fine proportionally. Um, I don't think there's much of a problem. The sculpt is okay too. It does feel a tad soft. It is a soft vinyl. Uh, but it does feel a tad soft overall. Like I feel like the sculpt could be a little bit better. The fists look okay. Uh, you get just a tad bit of paint here with the gold. Um, nothing here in the arms except sculpt work. You do get the nice gold across his chest, which looks good. And that sculpt is pretty good. The middle of his chest here looks pretty good. The arrow. And then uh, the colors here are pretty good, but, you know, they're not perfect. You can see they're a little bit, you know, coming in and out of uh, where they're supposed to be. So, not, yeah, I'll zoom in even a bit closer for you guys to check it out. See, it's a little bit yucky, and uh, it doesn't look so good when you get down there. Um, the belt, the V-belt, Ultron fans, you know all, what I'm talking about here. Um, looks pretty good, silver and gold. Black here on the sides, eh, I hate that it just stops. I, I don't like that about a lot of these vinyls. Um, the paint here is nice, paint here is nice. Red is okay until you get to the very, very bottom. Then it gets a little fuzzy. Uh, but this just stops right here in the front. I mean, they couldn't... They didn't even paint it to the, the seam here, uh, which is a little crazy. And the same thing up here. I mean, that could be a lot better. Um, so, yeah, yeah. Nothing go much going on in the boots. You get the Vs here again, and it looks okay. Um... The red over here is messy. And then uh, you get to the head sculpt and you see a lot of messy paint, um, which is a big bummer. The blue is gorgeous though. That is a very, very, very nice metallic blue. The silver looks good down the middle. And then um, the gold V here looks really nice. V crest of 45 on in gold over uh, the silver looks pretty good as far as I can see a little bit of overspray on that side and then the red is a little messy so 
lots of messy paint on this guys i gotta say lots of messy paint um you know it's a cheap figure you know it's under 10 bucks but at the same time you know i've seen a lot better from bandai uh in even a cheaper price point like this guy looks pretty good you know that i just reviewed so and this guy's smaller and cheaper um so i wish it was a little bit better here on zenkaiser but unfortunately it is not for your size comparisons, here's Zenkaiser with a bunch of other Bandai figures you might have in your collection, including a couple of the change figures with Zenkaiser and uh, the uh, Megazord, Megazord number one, from uh, the Zenkaiser series, Zenkai O, and um, I'll be having reviews of both that Megazord and the full change series very soon. And my final thoughts, uh, I gotta say this figure is a little bit of a disappointment, um, you know, I it was a whim, I wasn't gonna get it because I already got the change figures, and this of course beat it to the review desk, uh, it's a vinyl, it's easy to do, get it out of the way, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, it could have been better, I feel like the paint is a letdown uh, on this, it's just sloppy, you know, like yes, it has the... The good old Bandai let's not paint anything in the back type of deal, all the paint stops. But this one is more egregious than that. Like, this one, like, really stops short. So, uh, I don't know. It's a little bit of a bummer for me. Uh, I don't think, uh, I don't think I'm gonna keep this one. Uh, to tell you the truth, I might, uh, either put it on eBay or give it away. I don't know. It's... The chain figure might be the, uh, the Zen Kaiser I need, though, uh, but Bandai, if you do a figure arts of that, man, I'd be all in. But for now, that's my review. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts below. Glad to have kicked off, though, the Zen Kaiser reviews. There will be a lot more to come. Till next time, peace out, peace.